Hello and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to guide you through the setup on how to install ConfigNG and Kuja on macOS. For those of you who don't know what Kuja is or what ConfigOS is, Google is your friend. So type in these keywords and you should be able to find information that you need. This guide is not going to be a fresh install on a macOS because obviously I already have some of the homebrew installed but I'm going to show you the steps on how to do it and also how to install the brew package. All right, here we are in the Mac OS system. So you want to open a browser and head to brew.sh. So you want to copy that script. So hit that small button next to it and open a terminal and paste that script and hit enter. So that's basically it's going to install homebrew for you. I'm not going to do it because I already have homebrew in my system. But once that's installed, you can type brew install any package name you want. So <clears throat> that would be the package name. All right. So what to execute with the brew? So let's go ahead to my GitHub repo. So type in GitHub dot com slash ekawa I'm sorry ekawa you slash homebrew dash msp gcc and if you scroll down to the readme uh, file that's the uh, command that we need to execute let's organize this a little bit okay all right let's do it so brew tap tg Takaoka slash MSP GCC. Hit enter. So if this is the first time you're doing it with the homebrew, it's gonna take some time. So feel free to fast forward and I'll be right back. All right, so that's done. Next, I'm going to copy this and paste it. That will be a lot faster than typing. So this basically is going to install MSP uh, for the VGCC. It's going to take some time, so feel free to skip or fast forward, and I'll be right back. There seems to be an error, and yes, this is a known error during installation. So if you scroll down into my GitHub page in there, we need to create this for directory manually. So copy that and paste it, hit enter, and that's done. So that's the fix. And now let's try again. And I'll be right back. All right, so MSP for the PGCC tool installation is done. Let's go ahead and test it just to make sure it's working. And yes, I got version 4.7.0. Oh. And next, we're going to clone ContikiNG. So type in git clone https colon slash slash github.com slash ContikiNG slash ContikiNG. Okay, next you want to change into that directory. So cd contikng and type in git submodule update dash dash in it. All right, cloning is done. So let's go ahead and try to build an example. Go to examples, RPLUDP, and type mic target equal sky. Um, and seems like there is an error in there. We need to find a GNU mic. So let's install that. Let me see if I already have it. GMIC, 
No, I don't have that. Okay, let's go. Let's go ahead and install it with Brew. So Brew install. Um, Gmake, I guess. Let's see. And... No, nope, that's not it. So I guess Brew install make. So basically, after you inst it is installed, it's gonna be renamed into Gmake, and that's how it works. All right, now let's try it again. Gmake target sky. And there you go. So we got the Gmake install. We got the, the Contiki example built. Now let's go ahead and go to tools, Kuja, and let's type in gradle w run. And there you go. So you have a Kuja, the Contiki network simulator installed. And all you need to do is to create a new simulation, type in any name you want. So I, I added Eka IPv6 simulation, hit create. And let's go ahead and add a sky mode. I'm going to create a server, hit browse button, go to examples. RPL UDP, create five, randomly positioned, and then let's go ahead and create a client. I'm gonna name it client. Browse to UDP client.sky and create also five at modes and hit start. There you go, and we have the simulation running. You can move the nodes anywhere you want. You can slow down the simulation by choosing the speed, and that's basically it. All right, so that's how you see to install uh, and then set up Kutiki uh, NG with and also Kuja Kutiki Network Simulator on Mac OS system. So if you guys have any questions or comment, please write it down at the comment section down below. And that's it. See you in the next video.